Brian, you're live. Just by the way, I can I can see you really good. Just so you can. I just looked. Ah, I just saw. All right. What's up, guys? Hello, hello, hello! Happy Thursday. Yes, I'm cheating again today. I'm doing a live video because. Last lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. Damn, do I need to run and grab my glasses? Because I cannot see this computer screen for anything. Wow, man. I, can I, I wish I could make the font bigger. What's up, Beats in this? Beats in... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't see. Beats and sneaks. What's up, Mark? What's going on from Canada? What is up, guys? I'm waiting for some people to get in here. And uh, I figured we could just talk, get you guys' input, find out what's going on in this world. How y'all doing? I hope everyone's good. I hope nobody's got the, got the corona. <laughs> the corona is going crazy. It's, it's crazy right now, man. I'm not one to overreact, but when people start going crazy and, and buying up all the toilet paper... Your boy gets nervous, like, damn. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, yeah, we're going, they're going crazy right now. You know, it's, it's a panic thing, man. It's just a bad flu, but everyone's acting like it's the plague, so. Oh, they can't just sneak on. What's uh, what city is sneaker con in right now? I can't even keep track. You see, like there's a sneaker con every weekend. What is up? Let's see, we got ten people. If y'all could do me a favor and smack that like button, it'll help the notices go out to a, a few more subscribers. The more people we have in here, the more information we can gather. We can. We can figure out what's going on in this market. This light is not right for me. I might need my glasses. I don't know if my Brandon, maybe you can run up and grab my glasses so I can even see. I can't even read the comments. It's, they're like so small. I don't know why this font. Maybe I can change the font. Hold up, hold up, guys. I'm gonna try to fix something. I gotta put it on old man font. There we go. <laughs> I zoom it in. Oh damn. Okay, now I feel. I feel. Old. I had to zoom it into 150. And I got this big ass 17 inch uh, laptop here, guys, and I still couldn't see the screen. What is up, oh, damn? That's what, see, this is what I like. I mean, last year when I used to go live, I used to have two people in the live, and I used to talk to maybe one or two people during that whole live session, and it was fine. I, me and that, those two people, we, we chopped it up, and it was good, you know. I, but I like to see more people interacting. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone that's, that's joining, that's commenting, too. Um, don't be afraid. If you never commented before, just, just type, in the, type in something now. Say what's up. What's up, Nolan? What's up, Daniel? What's up, B-Lit Reviews? Dean, what's going on, my man? So I got a, I got a little agenda here. I'm not going to stay on live too long. I say that every time I go live, and I end up staying on for an hour because your boy can talk. So I'm gonna try to curb myself a little bit today, but uh, but yeah, got these in. These came in yesterday. <laughs> it's funny how hype works because last week this was the talk of the town. Like everyone was all crazy about these, and then it's just like from week to week you just go on to the next and on to the next sneaker. Like th these will start falling off. No one will really care about it. No one will click the review. I was gonna do it on foot. Uh, but yesterday I had a, a, a plumbing issue. You probably can't even see it, but there's a, there's a mark in my ceiling in my family room because we had a problem with one of our toilets upstairs. So yeah, I had to do an emergency uh, toilet exctomy, whatever you call it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had to replace the wax seal on there. But uh, not a fun job. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, really not a fun job when you gotta remove a toilet and replace the, the wax seal. But anyway, that happened instead of the on foot for this because shit happens, literally. Um, but yeah, these came in. These are actually nice. I wanted to 
show you guys these. I know every how many of you guys picked these up. Just say got them in the comments if you uh, if you got these. Um, let's see. Yeah, everyone wanted to see. Yeah, it, it did look like a PE. I mean, this is a probably I think one of the closest shoes to actually you know closest to a PE looking shoe I think I've seen. Um, because I think they did everything exact, except for the tongue. But I don't think on the PE they went with the low cut, the original styling of the, um, of the elephant print and the tongue like they did, you know, on this show. I don't think they did that on the PE. What up, young OG? You got two pairs on the military exchange. Not familiar with that. But if you can cop shoes off of it, that's what's up. What's up, Mark? Yeah, this shoe has summer all over. Um, so I got this, but I'm show you. See, see, YP was like, why are you buying the same type of shoes? And this is the shoe you saw in last video. I said it's not the same shoe. It's not the same shoe. <laughs> this is a shoe that I bought, I think 2018 these came out. These set. That's crazy. These set. These sell out, and yeah, but these have a different quality. These are, these are like the true blues that I got, which are, they, they, they're not super hard, but they are different. If you can see here, these have like a glossy look to them. Let me see. Yeah, it's kind of delayed. You probably can't see that, and I don't have a, a screen on there, but these are like a matte white. I like the matte white a lot better than the glossy um, finish on these. But uh, I, I've been keeping these around. I, I wore them like maybe five times. And uh, I'm thinking I want to do a custom on them. They're just dying for a custom. They're just all white. All la blanca. So I'm thinking any color. I, I went from like trying to make these into like a Kobe tribute with maybe purple and uh, yellow. You know, not crazy not too much just slight kind of like these just with like purple or yellow and then purple or yellow in the back on that part right there i thought that looked good and then maybe uh fill in the actual elephant print so you can see it i don't know i'm just i'm just trying to think of something to do but i think i'm definitely going to do some type of custom with these especially now that i have these bad boys because anytime i want to wear these i could just wear these instead so Look to that. Give me guys, uh, give me a, um, damn, I can't even talk. Let me guys know what you guys think uh, about that idea, if you have any suggestions or something. But yeah, I like to do a custom on these. Because uh, these are my nice shoes. These are pretty nice. Uh, so let's put these bad boys over here. Over here. What is up, my dudes? All right. And Beastie Garage. How does your paint on the midsoles? Can you can you see the brush strokes? Oh, you mean on these right here? Uh, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> yeah, you can you can see the the brush strokes. I mean, that's a given. I think I can see the brush strokes on every one of uh, Air Jordan Three that I have that's painted. I could probably see them on this. Yeah, you could, I could see them on the white. So that's something that just comes with these shoes. Which is which is cool with me because when I paint them, if, if I customize these, and you can see the brush strokes, it's going to look like it would from the factory. So I can definitely mimic that finish down to the brush strokes. Rizzolito, what is going up? I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, so it's going crazy here with the coronavirus, you know, it's, 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 it kind of went from like nothing to like something real quick. All of a sudden, uh, everything's getting canceled. I mean, I had like the soccer tournament I was going to, it's got canceled. We had, um, school, my son's in college. They're like, stay home. You know, you got to do online classes now. And, uh, yeah, everything is crazy. Luckily, I already work from home, but they're sending people home to work. 
Yeah, it's uh, it just went from like something to nothing, it's, and then people, it's just people are just crazy because it's, it brings out the worst of people. This type of situation brings out the worst of people. I've seen some real ignorant people in stores and things, and uh, it, it's it's just insane. And people are gonna get stuck with all this toilet paper and um, hand sanitizer because once this all gone. Are they gonna just go to the stores and start returning all this stuff? <laughs> it, it, it's it's crazy. And then, and then yeah, they, they canceled the NBA. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's just crazy. Well, what are we gonna do? But since this is a sneaker channel, I, let's let's talk about sneakers and how do we think the coronavirus is going to affect sneakers because. I don't know about you, but I've been looking at StockX prices, and over the last maybe at least the last five days, prices have been going down on a lot of shoes. Um, I just like follow like maybe four or five shoes, and I just watch the price not not drop a lot, but drop you know for no reason. And I think the prices are, I mean, shoes in that sense are kind of like stock. And the stocks have been tumbling. So for the same reasons that those stocks are tumbling, I think shoe prices right now are going to fall. I mean, because as people start, um, you know, thinking of other things they need to do with, do with their cash, I guess they're not really um, going to buy sneakers. And then you also have people that are thinking like me, that think the prices are going to fall and they're starting to sell stuff. Because I got a crap load of shoes in there that I've been holding and I was thinking, well, maybe I should just start selling some of my shoes. Not all of them, but just, you know, maybe just off, like, maybe 40% of them. Um, because, you know, the prices could go down quite a bit if it, keep, if it if this really gets worse. You know, if the economy does suffer, it will hit sneakers. I mean, it's funny to say, but sneaker prices will go down if this shit keeps up. That's just the truth. Let me see what's going on. Uh... The majority of the shoes are made in China, yeah. So, so if if shoes get halted and we start getting less supply, then the demand will go up, and in that aspect, prices would rise. So, but I think prices are actually going to go down uh, just slightly on certain shoes. I've been following for me, um, one of the shoes I kind of watch is is like um, the Travis Scott Force because I don't have a pair of Travis Scott Force. So I sit there and I watch and I was like, oh, the price just kind of went down on my size over the last five days, like almost, um, I can't remember. I think I think it was maybe $20 or something like that. But then there was another shoe where the price dropped uh, about, oh, on the Off-White Fives, the price dropped about 50 bucks. And yeah, I think it has something to do with the economy and the whole Corona stuff. I think it all ties in. <laughs> Nobody would want a package touched by them. Prices will drop because they're from China. Uh, all right. So what you can do is, listen, tell me if I'm crazy. I was thinking, if I get it, if I get a package in, how about you just have your Lysol by the door? That means you got to go on Amazon and spend 50 bucks for a can of Lysol. And <laughs> before you touch your package... You spray the crap out of it, to spray it, and then you open it up with gloves, and then you spray your box down with Lysol, you let it sit, you pull your sneakers out, you spray it down, you let it sit for like an hour or two before you start hand on it. And there you go. You disinfect it. You can handle your shoes. I, I didn't do that. These, these probably came with the Corona on them. But yeah, I, I didn't think about that because... I mean, sometimes you can't help but think of like, uh, I don't know if any of you guys are the Walking Dead fans. I'm a big Walking Dead fan. So <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is how like the fear of the Walking Dead starts. It always starts like this with like little dumb stuff, little sickness. Um, one little dude on the farm, you know, gets infected before you know it. You know, three episodes later, half the damn country is running around like zombies. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm thinking. I was thinking about like spraying everything down, keeping disinfected by the floor, by the door because I get I probably get a pack. No lie, I get a package here. Let's see if there's Monday through Friday, the UPS guy is here. At least at minimum three days a week, 
I feel like this week he's been here. He's been here every day, literally here every day. So, and it's not just me. It's like wifey orders something, orders something. So he's coming here, you know, a lot. So, yeah, he that's 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 the main source of like outside germs. So I really do, you know what? I gotta get that disinfectant and start spraying stuff down before I bring it in the house. Y'all hear me? Get the disinfectant and start spraying our packages down. Damn. Gonna oh, bring the Corona home. One of the Coronas I want is a nice cold one. Alright. <laughs> you say you're much more likely to get a, a coronavirus to an American than a package from China. Yeah, but did you hear how long like the the uh, the virus can live? They said it can live on cardboard for like an hour, and uh, I I don't I don't remember. It was like two or three other things, and I was like, really? Like viruses just didn't think to live that long, but damn, that that's a strong ass virus. It must be lifting weights. <laughs> that virus must be built <laughs> because it can survive on cardboard for an hour. Like damn. That's crazy. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I just was thinking about that. I'm like, man, the prices are dropping. Corona, I mean, Corona. The coronavirus is definitely affecting it. So, um, yeah. So, I got to keep moving on because otherwise I'll sit here and I'll be talking about this all night long. But uh, anybody notice that the Flex app got some head starts back? So, it didn't take long. They took, they took what? Uh, um a three-week pause, which hasn't been three weeks, two or three weeks, and I guess they they figure they got it right this time, so the first shoe to come back on reservation is these uh, Yeezy, excuse me, these Yeezy, what are they called, a Desert Sage? Desert Sage, and, and, and guys, I, um, you know, I don't wear Yeezys. Uh, the only Yeezy I probably would wear is a 350, and out of those, it would be the black ones, but I actually prefer the zebra so um, that's the only ones I would I would wear however those uh, sages desert sages I think they're pretty cool I mean it's actually a different colorway than something we've seen from Yeezy in the last year and a half so uh, if you're a Yeezy fan if you'd like to collect a bunch of Yeezys that's probably one I, I think I would collect if I was into Yeezys uh, I, would, I would I would do it I like the little hit of orange on the top um, it's got the um, what is it? The uh, the 3M across it. Again, I don't wear Yeezys. I'm not a big Yeezy fan at all. But I think if you are, this is probably a shoot a cop. And I don't know why people are saying this is going to be a brick. I mean, it probably will be. But um, I put in reservations for it because just because I like to buy Yeezys and resell them to make a couple bucks to help pay for the shoes that I really want to keep. Plus, yeah, if I can get a couple Yeezys, I will get a couple Yeezys. This weekend, uh, I did put in reservations for um, for Champs Foot Locker and what's the other one? Champs Foot Locker and Foot Action. And I did it for both uh, the kid sizes and the men's sizes. So that was uh, 1,500 points each head start. So that's 3,000 for each, each store. So I used 9,000 points total. So I used 9,000 points uh, for head start. So six six independent shoes or different shoes but uh yeah hopefully i can get um so that's nine thousand points that's ninety dollars if i just hit on one shoe and i buy one shoe i replenish those points and and some i'll get twenty two thousand points because two hundred twenty dollars is what you have to spend so um yeah i plan to at least get one and if i flip it and make if i can buy one and then sell it on ebay and make you know, thirty, forty dollars. I'm good, good with that. It'll pay for uh, it'll pay for gas to get to the store and my Chick Fil A lunch. And yeah, I don't really have anything planned this weekend. Now, I do have um, a question. I guess you're not probably unless somebody here works for Foot Locker. Uh, I'm worried that since everything's good, I know in our neck of the neck of the woods, we do. I do live right outside of Philadelphia. And uh, a lot of the schools are all like, um, they've been instructed to like close and stuff. So they're all off. Um, I'm wondering if Foot Locker, Foot Action, all the malls, are they going to be open? Because if we mess around and hit, 
we might not have no stores to pick up from. Who's to say that these workers are going to have to go in to um, give us shoes that we that we win this weekend? Um, and the funny thing is that my wife actually she said that to me because I said she said what are you doing this weekend? I said I don't know. I might I might depending upon depending upon how tomorrow goes with the flex app, I might be going to pick up you know an easy or two. And she was like, well, are you are you sure that those stores are going to be open? I was like, I don't know. So. I guess I better not sell them the day before like I normally do. <laughs> I heard King of Pressure shutting down. Damn, dude! <laughs> he just answered my question. So uh, thank you, Magnificent. Um, so yeah, I would not be selling like I would not be selling my shoes before I pick them up like I normally do. Because yeah, as he just said, here King of Pressure. King of Pressure is the mall that I usually um, end up getting at least a pair from. Then I go up to Berkshire Mall. But uh, yeah, that's that's messed up. Uh, wait, Manifis, are you the one that that came down from like Jersey and and picked up the pair that was supposed to go to me? I'm just playing, but there was one person that I know makes like a drive from like a Jersey to come. All right, so let me see. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, the Cinder is nice. I don't know which one is the Cinder. Sage is cool, but harder to dress. Yeah, because of the hit of the orange, I can see that. You just gotta wear a little more, a little more basic outfit and let the shoes speak for itself. Look with that one. Um, what is uh, Yeezys are bricks since 2019? Not true, not true. I've made so much money off of Yeezys because volume. I've been able to cop like multiple, multiple pairs of Yeezys, and I flipped on average. They're the ones that built up. The bulk of my StockX account. They're the ones that built up probably, if you go through my all my sales, Yeezys are mostly the ones on there. And I'd say like the blacks, the triple blacks, shit. Those, when I got, I got a bunch of those just from the um the apps. And they were selling for $500. I sold them for like $490, $500, $500, 490 490 So I made a killer off of those. But most of the Yeezys usually end up selling and making maybe 40 bucks off of, but if I make enough, you know, you sell enough of them, that's good money. I mean, if I run out, and I'm only out for like half a day, I run out to two different malls, three different malls, pick up like three, four, five different pairs of shoes, sell them on that day, you know, four pairs, five pairs, $200, $240 in like a few hours. I mean, y'all, y'all, if you don't like money, man, that's you, but it ain't no brick to me. I, I'm, I, I get rid of them easy. And uh, that money helps pay for shoes that I like and shoes that I want. Yeezys. So thank you, Kanye. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, some sneakers are getting pushed back. Yeah, I saw that. The uh, Jordan 5, the Fire Reds are getting pushed back. Um, I'm cool with those getting pushed back. I'm going to grab them. I don't own any fives at all. They would be my first five. It's actually, if I said way back in the day, if I ever got a Jordan 5, it would be those. Uh, but yeah, I'm waiting for those to come out. So if they get them pushed back, I'll get them. I, it's no rush. I'm not in a rush to spend money. It ain't even like, like, what do you guys care? Most of you guys aren't even putting them on your feet for like another couple months anyway. So um, I can push them back to the summer because that's probably a summer shoe for me anyway. Uh, them DMP 6s I'm not even, they nice, but I don't, I don't need them. Um. So I, I'm actually going to pass on those. I said that about the infrareds, and then I got two pairs, and I decided to keep one. And actually, one of the better shoes I got last year. Um, so, But I'm sticking to it. I don't want the, uh, the DMPs. I'm good on those. They say, are the blues the, are the, blues the same from the Jordan 1 Retro High uh, Game Royal Custom? Oh, um... A lot of people ask that if the um, when I did a custom on the uh, the the, um, the hyper royals and I made them look like uh, like a game royal. A lot of people are asking, is the blue from the game royal the same as the? I honestly don't know. I've never had them next to it next to a game royal to compare, so I I don't even know. Um, for some reason, I wanted to say no, but I really don't know. I don't know. I get Yeezys if they let me hit once in a while. Yeah, I 
Anytime I always take the Yeezys. There's only there's only one time I passed on Yeezys, and it was the Yeezy. Uh, I forget which one it was. It was like a couple months ago. They had a Yeezy come out on like Saturday, and then they have another color release on a Monday. Who knows what color that was? It was was that the that wasn't the Citrons. I don't know. It was something. It was it was a color that probably would have did all right, but it just came out two days after. Like I don't know which one it was, but but I passed on all those because I hit on like five of them, and I said I'm not picking up none of them. <laughs> there was no money to be made off of those. Zero money. So you just watched that vid, yeah? I, sometimes I go back and rewatch all those vids just to get motivated. Those customs take so damn long, and I, lately I just haven't been motivated to do a custom or, or um, I don't know, even start one. The last one I did was the the custom Union Union Black Toe Low, and you know I still didn't do that second shoe yet, but I will do that second shoe because guys, um, and I'm getting off track. I had a list of things, and this is not even on the list. But I'm gonna tell you guys, there's a um, there's some type of sneaker show coming on coming on coming to Atlantic City on April 11th 11th my anniversary is on the 12th and I'm going to be in Atlantic City anyway uh, that weekend celebrating my anniversary so your boy is going to make a trip to that sneaker convention I don't even know what it's called I was just watching Unbreakable Kicks his video uh, he had a few videos back and he mentioned he was going to be there and I'm like hey that's close we don't usually get sneaker conventions close to us I don't know why Philly is huge but we do not get big sneaker conventions near us. So uh, since I'm going to be there, I'm literally going to be in Atlantic City that weekend. So I will definitely be hitting up that uh, that that show. So if any of you guys are close or are going to go there, make sure check me out. Um, come grab me. Put yourself in the vlog. Put yourself in the vlog. And uh, yeah, so go. Cool. I can't stay too long because wifey did me the crazy eye when I told her I was going to a sneaker convention while we're supposed to be going and celebrating our... Um, our anniversary. So, I will be doing a quick walkthrough, seeing if I can cop some Travis Fours on the low, because people seem to cop Travis Fours on the low all the time at these sneaker cons, and I can never do it. That's all I need is some, some uh, Travis Fours on the low. But yeah, April 11th, Phoenix City. I will get the details in another video and tell you exactly where it is, but it's probably the only sneaker con convention going on in Phoenix on the 11th. All right. Who's going? Uh, Beats and Sneaks. Make sure you hit me up. You'll find me. I don't know what I'm wearing. Oh, I do. If I can finish my other black toe low, I'm going to I'm going to turn my chair around when I have free time, sit at this table, and finish out and knock out that second shoe finally so I can actually do it on foot, and then I'm going to wear it to the convention, my custom black toe low <laughs> that no one even cares about at this point because I did the first one almost a year. It seems like a year ago. But I'm going to finish it because I literally, I literally, I one shoe in a box and the other one just stopped uh, playing or stock. But uh, yeah, looking forward to Air Max Day. Uh, when is it? <laughs> what is it? I remember last year. Like what? What is the big deal? Any, am I looking forward to those uh, Air Max Fours? That I'm gonna pass on too. I don't really. I, I when I first saw those pictures, I kind of liked them. Now I realize I don't really like them. I thought there would be more of a shoe for my wife because she's like Air Maxes. And I was like, oh, I should get you these. She said no. So they won't be coming to this house at all. But uh, what is, when is Air Max Day? Because I can, I don't really know. The fours are definitely cut. Yo, you like those fours? Okay. <laughs> so you know how it feels. He said he had a sneaker taped up for three months and still ain't get to it. Yeah, it's it's hard to get that one. Yo, I just remember I was when I was halfway through that shoe, I was just like, oh my god, I'm never doing this custom again. And I was thinking, damn, I gotta do the left shoe. And I was like, ah. So shout out to my boy Daniel Grand, Daniel Grand Customs. He's the one that does the backwards swoosh. The, uh, Travis Scott swooshes on shoes. Um, I was rapping with him um, at the last sneaker con I went to and. Yeah, he, he was like, I get you. I understand your pain. He said, when you just don't feel like doing it, and you're like, oh, my God, you just, and you know you got to do it twice. It's 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 hard. It's hard. But uh, I, know I get so many people 
asking me. So don't do it. Don't ask me to do customs. Don't ask me. I am not a customizer. I only really like to customize my own shoe. I've done a few for, for people as a favor, but uh, no, I don't like doing it. It's not fun. Um, I don't care about the money. <laughs> I don't. It's, it's not. So I'll do the ones I want to do. Like I might, I want I want to do these because it's going to be easy. Just put a little color on them. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking a Kobe tribute. Either that or filled up the Eagles. So going with like the Eagles green trimmed out. That'd be cool. They don't do, they don't do anything green like that. All right. So uh, I had some other things to talk about. Make sure I stay on, to on topic here. Make sure I stay on topic. Um, Yeezy Desert Sage. We talked about those. I talked about the Flex app. Flex app is back. Again, Flex app is back. And I'm glad they're only doing, we, we only have to use three head starts instead of the original 10. I think they heard enough, enough people complaining that, damn, they're taking up all of our points. So I can deal with, I can deal with three. I mean, you're not good with that. Like three, just using three to get a full head start. And uh, maybe for like the crazier hype, more hype things, off whites and Travis Scott's, they might still hit us with ten. But um, yeah, three. I, I'm 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 okay with it. I mean, it's not going to go back to the way it was. So, but all right, it'll, it'll move on, move on. Anyone catch a Eminem Godzilla video? Did that was that like like a uh, throwback of the old Slim Shady days? It it, it took me back. But more importantly, did you see what he had on foot? Anybody catch what he had on foot? If you follow me on Twitter, guys, follow me on Twitter. Beastly GT or Beastly underscore GT or Beastly Garage. Any one of those. Just Google it. Or not Google it. But go on Twitter. Look it up. Follow me. I post a lot more on Twitter than I do on YouTube or Instagram. Instagram, I kind of fell off. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of fell off on Instagram. That's, that's crazy. I got a bunch of uh, followers in there, but I'm not... They're, they're slowly, like, unfollowing me because I haven't been posting much on Instagram. But I'm posting a lot on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter is my, my go-to right now. But, um, yeah, if you if you check out the Godzilla video, Eminem, uh, he had the... Uh, let me see if anybody put it in there. Nobody put it in there yet? Nobody put it in there yet? Nobody saw it yet? Y'all didn't see the, the Eminem Godzilla video yet? Ah, guys, guys, where are we at? Where y'all at? Anyway, he was wearing the, uh, he was wearing the, the Red Sea Mets. The uh, the red sea mess. But uh, so the Jordan three, yeah, yeah, the Jordan three red sea mess. He had them on, so I was like, oh shit, Eminem's wearing the the red sea mess. Does that matter? Do y'all think the price is going to increase because Eminem had them on? I mean, usually when the artists wear certain sneakers, the prices kind of go up. But I think these are such these are bricks. They're such bricks. I think they're going for under retail now. Uh, I don't think even Eminem can save those bad boys. I don't know if they were the shy ones or the regular Nike Air ones, but I can only see them from the front. And, uh, yeah. I have the shy ones still. I don't even know if I'm going to keep them. I, I don't even know. I really would trade them for, the, for a win like 96 pair. I, I really would. So I'm still putting it out there. If anyone got to win like 96, size 11, no, 11. Size 10, because it is the Jordan 11. 10 or 10 and a half, and you want to trade? Hit me up. Juan, you watching it now? Check it out. It's like in the middle. He's getting nice thrown at him. He has the, uh, the Jordan 3s on. Um, oh, yeah. I was trying to figure out if those were the what the fours. I hear he also had the what the fours. Like he has another pair of fours, and I couldn't tell if they were the OG white cements or what the four. It's like it's like uh, Nike was like, "Hey, Evan, can you wear some of these bricks and help sell them?" <laughs> he he went to the clearance rack and got all the uh, Jordans off the clearance rack at Foot Locker, and he wore them in his video. <laughs> it's like, damn, and he's gonna have those uh, those ones on. What are those ones called? The, uh, with the uh, with the red piping. <laughs> In the next video. All right, guys. I'm sorry. If anybody had any comments and I kind of missed them? Um, wait, audio. Is, is, can you hear me good? I saw one comment that said audio. Is that, does that mean y'all can't hear me or what? I got a thumbs up or something. Thumbs up. He had on the white force to watch it now. Uh, let's see. I think I, did, I got everyone's comment.
All right. Now, I saw somebody ask me if I already talked about the flex. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know how how late you are, but yeah, I just talked about the flex. The flex is back. Well, the flex never went anywhere, but the only thing we really care about is the head start. So the head starts um, are back, and they are back for the Yeezys, the Yeezy Sage. So this is the uh, uh, this is the test. This is the test of the emergency broadcast systems. I like, know this is the test of the flex app because I put in head starts for everything, just like I would have in the old days. I would have did grade school and men's, and I did it for all three stores. And we shall see, because back in the old days, I would have probably hit out of five or six out of six. Like either five out of six or six out of six. I definitely would have hit all the men's pairs and maybe one or two of the grade school pairs. So we shall see, because I don't have a lot of points built up, like lifetime points built up on the Flex app yet. I think I'm still only at only like 75,000 points. I think that's like 70, 750 bucks. Um, so I think you got to be over a thousand bucks before we start like guaranteed stuff, because once I got over like one two thousand dollars, it's like automatic. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And then we don't even know if the store's gonna be open up for us to pick up our shoes on Saturday because of the Corona. The Corona's taking over. All right, I think I had some other things to get to. And uh, all right, oh, and I did hit anybody, anybody. All right, two questions. Did anybody get access today to those uh, to the Kentucky and the Syracuse dunks? Anybody get access to those? It's like one out of like a hundred people got access to those. It seems like because I didn't get no access on all five of my accounts. Nope, nope. Saying nope, nope, no access. Yeah. I <laughs> all right. How many people were going for those? And if so, what color? Like, so say yes, going for them, Kentuckys or the Syracuse, orange or blues. It was no, oh, and um, what they did was last night, if you don't want on your sneakers, it would have said access coming soon. And I checked all my apps right and I didn't see it. So I knew for a fact right then I wasn't getting access because it, it shows on there the night before or lately they've been doing it the night before. And then at 12 o'clock noon the next day, it goes live, and those who had that access coming soon turns into you can purchase now. Mine was just you know notify me, and it was like that on every account. So that kind of makes me believe, based off the amount of exclusive accesses that went out, they're gonna be hard to get. So if you're waiting for those dunks, those Kentuckys, or those uh, those Syracuse, good luck on those, they're gonna be hard to get. Put in your raffles. I put in some raffles in Appstone and Hammer and uh, Kit. And I don't know. what I, all, the, all the usual raffle places I put in my raffles at. Uh, I've never hit on a raffle except for once at Extra Butter for them ugly ass Vapor Street off whites. And they wouldn't cancel the order. <laughs> I tried to make them cancel it, but they wouldn't. So I've never hit on that, but we'll see. Um, but I, I, I take either one. I don't even know if I want them to keep. Honestly, I'm not that into them, but I do want to get them in hand because I want to do a review, of course. I want to see how they look, and I like to get my make my judgment as to whether or not I'm going to keep them or if I'm just going to sell them and put them towards something else. Um, but uh, let's see, uh, Kentucky, Kentucky. So Kentucky, so the blue is the, is the one to go for, and you know I got family in Kentucky, so that's the one I prefer. Um, if I can only get one, I definitely prefer it because I think plus it's more rare. I mean, blue. Blue is my favorite color. I mean, king, king, king of tail. King of tail. <laughs> but normally I have like red, black, or white on. So uh, blue is my favorite color. So I would definitely want the blue Kentucky ones if if I got them. Um, and I think they're going to be hard to get. I will go for them this weekend. Uh, yeah, they come out Saturday, right? What about the other dogs? Uh, all right, I don't. I'm gonna honestly, guys. I don't know the names of those other dogs. Those ones that kind of look, I don't know, with the tan and the animal print. So um, props to whoever can uh, can uh, can name that shoe, whatever shoe that is. I think it's just. It might be skateboard only. Is that is that what that shoe is? Skateboard only.
Someone said, yeah, you got, you know what? They gave exclusive access to the Pine Greens to everyone. <laughs> you know, because every, like, out of my five accounts, three of my accounts got exclusive as access for those. And I did not even purchase them on there. I should have purchased all of them. I mean, it's a Jordan 1. I should have just purchased them all, all and just made 20 bucks off of every shoe. Uh, let's see. I'm going, I'm going for resale on any color on a SBs. Yeah. So yeah, you take what you can get. I, mean, I haven't even checked the resale on those. Let me see. I, it's too early to tell really what the resale is. Cause I don't even think anybody has them in hand yet. Unlike, unlike the core purple ones, they're in hands. They're in reseller hands already. And those look exactly like I like my shoes to look. Those core purple ones look exactly like I like them. Nice, regular, no, just just like that. Nothing, they, Jordan didn't add no extra crap. They didn't mess with the Wings logo. They didn't give us the extra bumpy tumble. They didn't do anything weird. They didn't mat it out, gloss it up. The court purples in the Chicago color blocking is my shoe to get. That is the number one shoe on my radar right now. Them court purples. They are so much my number one shoe right now that I'm looking at them on um, on GOAT right now for like $350. i am like, maybe I can go ahead and just get the pair for $350. I won't do it. I won't do it. There's no way I'm going to. Because that's like, that's like $200 more. No, I don't know. But them core pearls, they're going to be trouble. they definitely going to be trouble. I'll make sure I have my points built up. These Yeezys, if I do get a bunch of Yeezys, these Yeezys are going to help build up my accounts just so I can get these freaking core pearls. And I really want two pair, one to rock and one to probably stock. I think I want two pair of those. To keep. Um, I, I really like how they look. And yeah. At 350, I can actually see like pre-sale right now. They're going for 350 in my size. I see them as high as like 500. dollars I think that. Damn, am I, am I? Am I still on? Hold up. My thing is clocking here. But anyway, I think that those shoes would get to that price and will sell resell around that price now. So I think if you bought them at 350 now, you probably be able to sell those after they release for that same amount of money. So I don't think you will lose any money on that. Uh. Let me see. Let me see. Skate shop excuse. Oh, Safari. Oh, thanks. Um, GMS three one three LBM. You got the Safari SBs. I ain't know the name of those things, but uh, yeah, they are. Uh, they are. Right. They're kind of. They're kind of uh, like the Wilder SB. I know that's going to be the more exclusive type shoe. Um, I put in a raffle. I think. Uh, put in a raffle. At, oh, it's too late. I think you already missed it. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. I was gonna say today you could have put in a raffle at a place called a Premier Shop. Um, they did an online thing. They also did an online thing for the Travis Scott Low um, SBs. Uh, and I know a few people that hit off of those, especially on Twitter. But yeah, uh, I don't know where else to put in raffles for those those shoes. But uh, I. See if I get those, that's something I'm gonna wear. I don't know, maybe if I had them in hand, but right now I think if I cop them, I'd probably just move them on. Yeah, I'm waiting for the hairs. The hairs look good. I don't know why. I like them hairs. Them hairs look good. Look good. That's super duper good. What would say? Good. <laughs> Let's see. He said, I will custom them to the first court purple and have to, no, I don't do that. No, keep the, uh, no, keep the, uh, keep them the way they are. I like the, I honestly like the Chicago color blocking better than the original 1.0. I really do. I, I really, I really do. I like that color blocking better. But I guess if you don't have, if you don't have the original 1.0s and you grab two, I guess you could customize them. To, to do that, but hmm, I don't know. Nah. You gotta get that color though. You gotta get that purple. You gotta check out uh, the paint supplier and see if they have that. <laughs> what is it? What's up, Blow Flex back to reservations? Yes, they are. 
Uh, let's see how many people are going to complain now. All right, damn, I done scrolled way up in my comments. I just re responded to someone that wrote that like an hour ago, probably. Let's see, I will, because I already saw that already. Good, if you can cop two. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're all caught up. Well, I got some more stuff on my agenda. Or am I done? I might be done. I might be done, guys. Hold up. I think that's all I want to talk about. So, UNC's check. Flex set. Check. Yeezy Desert Stage. Check. Coronavirus. <coughs> check. Stores possibly closing, not letting us pick up our sneakers. Damn. That's going to be crazy if that happens. But check. We talked about it. I'm going to rock the red cement threes. Check. And those he is not saving them prices. They are still going to tank. And dunks. Syracuse, Kentucky. You guys said the Kentuckys are the ones to go for. And watch the Syracuses be the more limited ones and the ones that's going to be worth more, more money. And the uh, the crazy Safari SBs that are also coming out. And the... Uh, the uh, oh, all right. If... Uh, is Dior... Are they releasing those sneakers? Like, where are they releasing that? At $2,000, I'm not even paying attention to that stuff. But... See, I don't even... That doesn't seem like... That just seems crazy. But what are they reselling for? Are they reselling for like three grand? Four grand? I mean, because... I, I mean, if I, if I can get four grand... Out of two grand, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll buy the shoe. I definitely buy the shoe. But I ain't spending two thousand dollars to make a hundred bucks. I mean, that is that's that's not happening. You said eight thousand. Tell me that's a typo, dude. <laughs> is it? It must it must be twenty eight hundred. Ain't no shoe twenty eight thousand. Let's see. So I'm going to be waiting for them. The Dior's won't release on sneakers. So where are you getting them things from? <laughs> Absent on that right here. Nobody's trying to catch the C virus. I don't know. Are people gonna be staying in line? Are we gonna be? They're gonna be camping out with the uh, with the mask on, gloves. Boutique shops, okay. Man, I ain't, so I ain't copping. I ain't going to no boutique shops. I just ain't doing all that. That's like too much work. Too much work. What do y'all think about the uh, the news that the fire? What do they call? It? Oh, the fire reds. Yeah, the fours coming out Black Friday. What do y'all think about those? Highest bid twenty. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, hold up. Damn. I shouldn't be cursing out here. Are we trying to monetize this? <laughs> twenty five thousand. Are y'all serious? Damn. I could put that down on a new C eight. Damn. 20. You telling me you if you cop so if you cop. I cop a pair of uh, Dior's. I'm straight. Darnell, you said a fire, right? Yeah, the fire reds. I'm a fan of fours. I'm a fan of those. Um, that's one of the shoes that I would have copped for resale. Um, so now I don't have to. So hopefully they do come out. Hopefully, hold it up. Are they going off of, like, official? Like, what do they have? Do they just have the colors? Because, you know, remember last year, we all thought we was getting the bread, the bread one was for Black Friday, and, and we got those other things that had the same color blocking, well, the same colors, but mismatch, you know? But, um, yeah, I like the, I don't know. I, I, before you get too excited, let's just wait till we get a little closer, because it, it can mess around and be some, some, some old... Something that's not a fire red, but if they do come out, yeah, I'm definitely copping them thing. 
definitely copping them things. OG all the way. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, and, and uh, you said LA and New York are getting the Dior's, I assume. That's what you're talking about. $25,000 for a pair of shoes. Those sneakers, y'all, they sick. Whoever's paying $25,000 for them, yo, yo, I'm straight up. If the Dior's weren't a Dior and it was just, if they just released it as just another Jordan 1, it'll be sitting on the shelves right next to everything else that's sitting right now. I guarantee it. With that swoosh with that stuff on it and the color, it, it would sit. It would be a sitter. People would be grabbing it, doing their little vloggings, making the duck sounds, looking at it, talking about something. Maybe I could customize it to make something better. I guarantee it. That Dior would be a total brick. No one would be interested in it. It would be on the shelf for like one twenty nine after like Six months. Such a weak ass shoe. <laughs> Better wear all your grip. <laughs> he said, Before the corona gets you. <laughs> yeah, all these people, people are gonna die before they get a chance to wear their sneaks. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You gotta put it in your will that all the people coming to your funeral gotta put, gotta wear a pair of your sneakers to undies them. <laughs> Bury me in my Travis's, <laughs> but make sure but make sure nothing to the bottom because I gotta keep the soles clean. <laughs> wear them in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Wait up. When you put my Travis's on, make sure you put the soul shields in them because I don't want them to crease. <laughs> I, don't want them to, I don't want them to crease in the car. <laughs> yo, yo, you ever see a picture of a guy that got buried? Uh, hold up, hold up. It was the, uh, the dude that died and then he had like a funeral of him um, like sitting in his car. I think it was like a Lamborghini. It was like an orange. I think it was an orange Lamborghini. And, it, and it was, he has like glasses on. And he's like sitting there holding the wheel. Like at his funeral. I mean. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same thing for sneaker. <laughs> yeah, it was in a Lamborghini. <laughs> and the bull was sitting there like this. Like, I mean, it's not funny. But it is. But it's funny. It's funny. Because I seen one like that. And I seen one. When dude was like. He must have been like a pit. And he was like in a pimp chair. And he was like in this room. And was, he was like all pimped out, just like sitting there in his pimp chair, like the the thing. And I was like, damn, that is crazy. These people will be, they be going out. Sneakerheads gonna be dying. And they'll be like sitting like with their shoe up or something like this. With their, <laughs> with their, with their grails on. <laughs> I'm like, like I, I be going like. <laughs> You got like a Supreme hat on, a Supreme shirt, and <laughs> some Dior's, and a Supreme coffin, hype beast to the end. <laughs> Nigga, you gonna dig my grave with a Supreme shovel? <laughs> All right, I am all off track here. I'm, I'm done with everything I was going to talk about, guys. Done with everything I was going to talk about. Um, how long is this? Does it even have a, a time frame on here? I don't even know. It doesn't even say. It doesn't even say. It just, just, I don't know. Before y'all log off, can y'all, if you didn't hit that, Hit that like button. Can you hit that like button for me? My um, screen is messed up here. I'm just going to wait because I don't know if I'm still live because I did something here that went crazy. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I still live? Am I still live? All right, I think I'm back. I don't think I disappeared. I think it was just something here. 
55 minutes. Okay, so we'll end this, making this an even hour. <laughs> but that was funny. Y'all got me thinking about dude in a Lamborghini. Now. Someone else said that. They said, they, they said they're going to bury you in your, in your Mustang. I'm like, I don't like that car that much. I wish you would. I'm going to come back and haunt your ass. You bury me, me and my Mustang. <laughs> Forget that crap. What's up? Thanks. I appreciate it, Donnell. <laughs> 17 likes, 22 people. All right, 21 likes. Nice. Love it, guys. <laughs> All right. I appreciate everyone here that joined me today. Listen, y'all got to be safe out there. Be safe, seriously, on, on a serious tip, because even though I'm clowning around, I keep thinking it's just it's just a flu. It's a bad flu. Really, when it comes down to it, the only people that's really going to affect seriously are just older people and then younger people. And those are people that usually have some other uh, ailments going on, some other sicknesses and things. But you just never know. You never know. I mean, there could be things that people just aren't telling us. I don't trust this government for nothing. So the best thing you can do is just avoid getting this stuff at all. So be safe. Get your stuff together. Wash your hands. Don't be touching everything. Think about everything you touch. I just went to the to the um to get some gas. I'm like, damn, I gotta plug in my number there. I gotta grab a pump. So I was immediately, you know, disinfecting my hands and, and everything. So yeah, just just stay away and don't be don't be an ass because I run into a lot of people that are just being an ass at the stores and my clerks and stuff. Um, it's it's just crazy. Don't let it bring out the worst in you. Don't let it. Don't let it worst in you. You know, keep your senses and you'll be good. We will continue to uh, to do our thing. Long live everyone. Hey, and um, the, keep watching prices. If they start dropping, it might be time to cop. You know, something you had your eye on. I know I'm, I'm always having my eye on those, those Travis Fours. I'm going to get me Fours this year. I'm going to get me some Travis Fours. And, uh, yeah. Selling hard hand sanitizer. Yeah. Yeah, you can go on uh, Amazon <laughs> and spend uh, 50 bucks for an eight-ounce bottle of... <laughs> Did you say selling? Oh, hand sanitizer. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Um, I saw... A Someone posted a link to something that was like eight dollars. I know it's, it's it's crazy. You can't even buy, you can't buy sanitizer. You can't buy uh, toilet paper, regular all the emergency stuff, water. Forget about that. Um, th there is a thing online that shows you how to make sanitizer using like um, rubbing alcohol and some other like basic home products. And my wife put the little list up there on the on the wall, just in case we need to. But luckily she's a germaphobe anyway, so we had like tons of sanitizer. Like everywhere you go, there's a little bottle of sanitizer. Anywhere, anywhere to turn around, in every car is sanitizer, so I'm good on that right now. Don't, and if you use it too much, I got a belief that it starts to, your body gets used to it. So it's, and bacteria, it, it learns. It learns to, you know, become resistant, so. This right here, this whole sanitizing everything, using hand sanitizer, is actually going to probably backfire in the long run. It's just going to make these germs a lot more resistant to it, and it's going to create like a super bug. Watch. Watch. I said it. And I'm going to be selling Supreme Hand Sanitizer. <laughs> Supreme Hand Sanitizer. <laughs> Let's see. Bro, don't bring up those Travis Swords. My package was stolen off my port. Oh, my God. Jesus. I feel for you. Let's have a moment of silence for Donnell. Was it from StockX? Because they give you your money back, right? Hold on. I got to hear about this. What, what happened with some Travis Scott Fords that got stolen off your porch? And why don't you have Ring? Because you got to have Ring. Get Ring. It's too cheap to get. It's the best thing I ever bought. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Ring is the video um, doorbell. And all you do, I literally, I, I, pl I plug that thing up and I hardwired it. It's not even battery operated. I hardwired it into my existing doorbell. So I never have to change the battery and it's good to go. You connect it to your Wi-Fi, boom, that's it. And then, and then you don't even have to like pay for any other service. You, you could just go on your Wi-Fi and then see it. But I pay for $99 for a whole year. And all that does is just make it so it constantly records and I can always go online and just get the footage. That's all it does. It's kind of like a cloud. So I just pay for that, the ring cloud 
for like $99 for the year. Best investment ever, I swear. I haven't had to use it yet. I mean, not to catch anybody, but I've used it for various things. And if people see it and they know what it is, that kind of deters folks. So, you know, I might even, I, get, I get my uh, my UPS guy, he rings the, the bell when he drops the package, gives me a little wave, like, hey, I see you in the ring. He turns around and walks away. But yeah. Yeah, or get a, uh, yeah, do like him, or get the um, UPS lockbox because I know I shipped through eBay when I'm shipping stuff to people. Sometimes it says deliver it to like a, um, a parcels bin or something that they get. But yeah, you can always do that if you're really not sure. If you live in like an uh, apartment or a condo or something like that, definitely invest in that shit. If I still, if I still live in Philly, I, I do that. I, there, I wouldn't even do the ring because in Philly, they didn't care about no ring. They were like, you can look at a steal your package all you want. We still gonna steal your package. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if I lived in Philly still, I'd, I'd do that. But out here, the ring is, is good enough, especially since I'm 20 feet away from my front door at any given time. I work from home, so I'll be on your ass. You grab my package, I'm on your ass. Actually, I ain't gonna chase your ass down. I got fast some things that'll catch you. <laughs> all right, with that. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream right about here. I think we're about an hour in and uh, only a half hour over what I wanted to do. Be safe. Be cool. And uh, remember, smack that like button if you didn't already. Tell your friends about BC Garage. Share this video if you want to share it. And uh, I'll probably see you with a vlog on Saturday. It'll be the Corona Yeezy vlog. It'll be interesting. Oh, damn, before I forgot. I did hit on those Sakai's. I hit on two pairs. Two pairs of white, though. I didn't get white and black. I hit on two pairs of white. But, uh, yeah. I will have a white pair for sale, size 10. Hit me up on Instagram if you're interested. I'm reasonable. I'm reasonable. So, hit me up. Um, size 10, white Sakai. Coming in. I'm not going to review out. Should have it here on Saturday. One pair is coming Saturday. One pair is coming Monday. Don't know why when I shipped that the same exact minute. Anyway. That's about it. Make sure I answer all the questions. Um, we're good. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to mod some people that I see here. I appreciate you for stopping in. I don't, I don't know how to mod you. Hold on. Let me see if I can. How do I mod? How do I mod you? Uh, Ad moderator. Anybody else want to be a moderator? Just say something now. I'll make you a moderator for the next uh, online live. Anybody? Anybody? Going once. Going twice. Gotcha. Gotcha beats. Anybody else? Juan? Gotcha. Anybody else? You stuck through this long. Well, got it. Sniping trolls ASAP. <laughs> gotcha. All right, so I think, did Donnell, did it work? Let me see. Uh, no, it said, okay, Donnell's no longer a moderator. Oops, sorry. Sorry, bro, I took you off. Let me see. <laughs> it just didn't show up blue for me. Oh, I guess, okay, you have to type something for me to see. All right, so I think anybody that wanted to do it, you got it. And uh, did I get everyone? I'm still scrolling through. All right. All right, guys. Peace out. See you next time. Later. Oops.